All right, guys, welcome back. Oh, it's Lego, it goes inside. Welcome back. It is the May long weekend. So this is our big planting weekend to get kind of the rest of everything into the ground. The only thing that we're probably gonna hold off on are planting the big pumpkins that we're hopefully gonna carve for Halloween. Um, those are probably going in closer to the end of June, just so they're not ready too early. I don't know, I have to research it again. I can't remember if it was the end of May or end of June, mid-June, not really sure. Um, but we'll double check that. And, um, but anyway, lots has happened. Um, I guess not really lots, but um, we have a lot to do this weekend though. We have a big to-do list to tackle, uh, starting with the garden and getting everything planted. Hang on, buddy, you go play. And then I will will get to work in the garden. Um, where's Dana? I think she's over there somewhere. Anyway, so point beam. Lots of work to do outside this weekend, and we have rain all day Sunday. It's supposed to start raining around five o'clock today, and it's ten o'clock, so we got to get to work. Um, but I did I did get the fruits in. I'll show you that after. I'll show you. I'll, we'll do like a whole garden tour, kind of at the end of everything that we're doing. Um, I will shoot a quick before just so you can see kind of like what the garden looks like before our massive uh, planting weekend slash I think I'm hoping that we can get it all planted today and then just sit there and watch it grow for the next few weeks. Um, so we have to get the rest of the T-posts in, get the fence around those T-posts and then we have planting, lots of planting. So. Um, don't mind my hair. I find it too hot to work with it down or like close to my neck. It just, it makes me overheat. So it's on top of my head today. Um, but yeah, so let's get a quick view of what everything looks like before. And then, uh, and then we'll do an after once we've got all the work done because um, you guys haven't told me whether you like watching things happening in fast forward or not. So um, I do like, there's times that I do the fast forward quick where I garden really fast because it's on like 16 speed fastness. It's fast forward time 16. Um, ooh, that was a good one. Um, and yeah, yeah there, I just don't know whether you guys like watching the fast forward and like what's happening exactly in the garden and kind of seeing how I do things or if you just like seeing like the before and after and then a little garden tour. So yeah. Um, if and when I get some feedback on that, I will start changing the videos because um, you guys are the ones watching them and getting entertained by them. So you can help shape the videos by providing feedback. Um, but yes, so today let's do a before. So we have the pots out here because I was mowing the lawn close to the fence, but I got to get the inside area done. Um, but these are all of our bean pots over here, which I think, I think we're going to move to along the back so they get more sun during the day. Um, but there's the garlic and onion area. And then this is the main area that's going to change today because we're going to have hopefully lots of little green plants all over there where the tea posts are. So, and then you can't come out and play yet until, okay. So then back here, we have the squash area started with some cardboard and potting soil. We're going for the no-till method. And Joseph is scaring me because he's walking through where we planted the fruit. Um, hang on, buddy. I know Bosco pooped around here, so be careful. So those are the blackberry bushes. Then we have the raspberry bushes. And then we have the blueberry bushes over here. Um, watch where you're walking, please. Oh. So, we're gonna water them like crazy and hope that uh, they come back because they were kind of dormant. So, you can barely even see that one. It looks like a stick in the ground. I don't know how well that one's gonna survive. I tried to water the crap out of them, but we'll see how it goes. Like, that's the plant. So, anyway. Okay guys, this is what you look like when you're racing another thunderstorm. Let's just 
can't even see. The clouds that are right there are actually just so dark. And that's the thunderstorm. I've already heard thunder. It's coming. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what we did in the garden today. Um, also, so that I remember where I planted what kinds of tomatoes. So here we go. So this is definitely a different look now because we have more tomatoes out here. But anyway, so this row and this row are San Marzano. And then we have San Marzano. And then we have two San Marzanos here. And then the rest of this is Roma. Then we have our beans. Then we have Okay, let me get this right. We have Cobra on this side for the first nine. And then the rest are Esterina. And then on the back side, so on that side, that's all called Sunrise Sauce. So it's like an orangey plum tomato. And so those are all along the back up until the last few. And then the last few down here on the back side, I just threw more Romas in because we didn't have a lot of um, sunrise sauce. So, and then Josh just was like tossing dirt in here to race the storm. Um, and yeah, he didn't even, come on, man. You didn't even look how they were going to be in because we want one pointed this way and one pointed that way so they grow on either side of the fence but oh well whatever we actually had help in the garden today so we can't be too critical but so we finally oh and we also got the these this whole thing finished with fence around it today too so um yeah so we now have everything in the garden everybody is hot and cranky um but anyway so now we have everything in the garden except for the bush beans and the extra peppers that we wanted to plant at the ends of certain paths and the potatoes we didn't get the potatoes in either um but sunday is supposed to be another nice day that we should be able to finish the peppers beans and potatoes what come here come here um and then we're i think we're gonna throw some bush beans and peppers into containers as well um josh went out and bought two more bales of the soil and so one bale is gonna go onto the squash no-till area just to build up the soil a bit and then that'll leave probably one more bag of soil which will fill four containers um so we'll basically have to just stick with that and yeah basically um I'm trying to throw so many plants into the garden because I went and I like over started like I started too many seeds like way too many seeds but I didn't know germination rates and all that stuff and like I was basically also testing the germination rates that were on the packets right so all of them were pretty accurate um and i just i just didn't want to be short i'd rather have too many than not enough um i'm just having a hard time like just ow the black flies are crazy um i'm having a hard time like potentially letting them die um so i'm just trying to figure out where i can put them and what can i do to try to save as many as possible because those bales those bales are not cheap um so i might do some searching around to see or maybe i might use um my pc points and go to the superstore and purchase more soil to fill more of those can as many containers as we can i don't know we'll see we'll figure it out we'll figure it out so um anyway <laughs> that's what we got done today uh we started between 10 and 11 josh was MIA for like three hours this morning. He just went to Home Depot again and then 
I don't know, ended up helping a friend, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, um, yeah, he was gone for three hours. I think we could have done a lot more had he been here like he was supposed to be. But, you know, life happens, whatever. Uh, I got to work. And then he came back and he helped me tremendously. So, I mean, I would be, I would not have finished getting all the tomatoes in if he didn't help me at all. Um, so just the fact that he was digging holes and I was planting, we were able to get all the tomatoes in. So I'm very thankful for that. And, uh, yeah, so we're pretty much almost have all the plants out in the garden. We're just waiting for some nice weather and we'll get everything out, everything going. And we just have to, um, double check our data on the carving pumpkins. Uh, but everything else is going to be, so I am going to put all the soil into the squash area on Sunday and we're going to get those planted and then just double check the pumpkin, um, the data on the pumpkin. So we've got carving pumpkins, pie pumpkins, zucchini, and butternut squash all going in that area. Um, it's going to be an experiment because we just don't have a lot of cardboard down in that area. Um, so the pumpkins are coming first and then essentially like one row of zucchini and one row of butternut squash if we run out of room. So um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes and go from there. Um, now we have a huge storm coming. Oh, it's looking, it's looking very interesting inside. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying your May long weekend and, uh, stay tuned. We have one more sunny day this weekend to get everything out into the garden. So let's see if we can do it. <laughs> have a good day guys. Do you hear the thunder? And the thunder rolls. But no lightning strike. Yeah. That's our weather right now. That's how much it's raining now. The toys can suffer and fly away. Oh, I think that was lightning. It doesn't even do it justice. You can't even... It is just pouring out there. <laughs>